And we're joined by John Summerland, the Okanagan Film Commissioner. You've been in this post for how long now? It's been about 15 years. It seems like five, but it's been, yeah, 15 so, okay. great years. So go back 15 years. Mm -hmm. Did you envision a future like what we see now with film production in the Okanagan? I did, honestly. I envisioned us to be doing really well um, because it's a beautiful place. It's great. We got great infrastructure and great people here. So I thought, why not? Why couldn't we make this a great film hub? Yeah, it's excellent here. So why, you know, why not? So how are we doing? We're doing really well. So 15 years ago, we had $5 million of economic impact. Now we're into the 120 millions of economic impact, which is pretty great. We have movie shooting all the time throughout the whole region. So I represent from Hope to Christina Lake and up to Grinrod. So it's a big region. Predominantly the central Okanagan is where most of it takes place. So we have in this area, three crews working all the time. Right. So um, we started to get used to seeing a lot of these lower budget, yeah. um, uh, films, um, Hallmark films and things. Um, but um, recently there was one that was over that five million mark and I guess that matters. Yeah, there is. So we have a group in town uh, which is working with Lionsgate, Lionsgate Buzzfeed, Buzzfeed, you know, the internet people. So they have a company in town now that do three films a year for them, which are in the five to seven range. And then we have all the hallmarks, which is why we're going to do fine through the writer strike and through the actor strike, because they're all Canadians. Right. Okay. Yeah. You brought that up. <laughs> um, it's, it's not good days at the moment, uh, for the industry with uh, strikes involving writers and actors. Yeah, no, it's not for everybody else. But us, we're pretty, pretty good because it's Canadian domestic writers. So we have Canadian writers and we have Canadian actors doing all these hallmarks. So it's still an American company, but and they might send up a producer or director or whatever, but it's our, our Canadian actors and our Canadian uh, directors that are doing it. So our sorry, Canadian writers. So we are so far fine. Unless ACTRA um, joins in and says, hey, you know, Solidarity Brother SAG, and they decide to strike as well in Canada, we shouldn't feel as much pain as that. But the $7 million jobbies that you were talking about earlier, they are American driven. So they will take a hiatus while that's going on, but that doesn't mean they're going away. We still have all these hallmarks, so we'll still have three at a time. So I guess if a film company can come uh, to the Okanagan and, and produce a film with uh, nice uh, locations in it yeah. and come back and say hey we, we shot this film for x amount of money i guess that gets around in the production community oh yeah for sure we are already known as a place with open arms someone where you can go and film it's easy to travel here we have amazing light we have amazing uh, our crew is really good it's world class i think um so we are doing well and the productions are are selling themselves it used to be that i would get like seven eight scripts at a time and land one at the most now if the seven, eight scripts I'm getting, um, they're already landed. They already know they're coming here. So we are shooting what we get. And we don't have to market as much, yet we do. But at certain points, we're almost bursting at the seams. So we don't want to be too busy almost. Yeah, yeah it's, it's good right now. We would love to get some of the, the sexier stuff, like the bigger ones that, you know, so the, so the public can go, hey, wow, this is a feature film that we're going to see. In. But, but, you know, when that happens, it leaves a huge footprint. We get those, and it'll be great. And it'll be excellent. It'll be after the strike, yeah. obviously. It'll be after the strike. But right now, um, our bread and butter is these MOWs and these Movie of the Weeks, and they're here. Right. So why not take the money? And, and if we start to see more of these ones in the 5 to $7 million range, I suppose that makes it more likely that you see something with a budget maybe 10 times. 10 times. Easy. I've been working since December on a show that's much, much bigger than that. And it's been pretty sweet. But now, quiet crickets because of the strikes yeah yeah so but i mean a television series that is you know an hbo and netflix a big series is what we really need our next right. step should be a big series so you can have people now who are um, working regularly on all of these productions that can make a living out of the film industry right here oh they are and they live right here like they're my next door neighbor like there was uh we have people that uh uh, yeah, are paying their mortgage because of this industry. They all are. Uh, right. it's, it's not just, oh, here's here's one here and yeah. wait and here's one there. It's not it's, film and famine or, or feast and famine anymore like it used to be. It's regular. It's regular. It's fantastic. And um, yeah, there's more and more jobs ready. Right. Yeah. 
So, you know, it was almost experimental. Hey, let's try having a film commissioner 15 years ago. But I, I guess <laughs> oh, that's... Oh, it's even before me. It's been going on since the 90, yeah. 96. But, I mean, it's it's obviously turned out to be a good idea. Yes, it has. It's, it, you know, I'm free to the film industry. So they would they take advantage of us. And if we can then help them come, then that's great. You know, and if if it costs the taxpayers for to, to be a film commissioner about two hundred and thirty thousand dollars throughout the whole region, not Central Okanagan, North Okanagan, Kootenay boundaries, and South Okanagan, and so and the return is one hundred twenty seven million dollars of economic impact, direct money spent. So I think it's a pretty good return on the dollar, mm -hmm. right? And like you were saying before about the the crew, it used to be you know the crew would phone and say when do I when are we working next when are we working next and now they're phoning to say when do I get a day off <laughs> amazing <laughs> it is yeah. uh, right. well, thanks for telling us about it john summerlin thank you and thanks for watching Kelowna now